welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing okay. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe and ring the bell and comment down below. If you want to see anything else from me, then please comment down below what you want to see and I will try and get onto that. So, today I am going to be doing a sort of day makeup slash work makeup slash interview makeup. So we're going very, very minimalistic. Um, so, cause I think some people, they they struggle with the balance between the two. Like what is work makeup, what is, you know, normal makeup, what is, you know, going out makeup, or, you know, I wanna, I've got an interview, what makeup shall I do? You know, all that sort of thing. You don't want it like too heavy, but then you wanna still look, you know, nice, professional, whatever. So we're gonna do that today. I have already put some, um, moisturiser on my face. This is the CeraVe face, Facial Moisturiser in Lotion for Normal to Dry Skin. This is so good, so good. And my face just feels really nice moisturised. It smells a bit like sun cream. I mean, it's quite like sun creamy consistency. It's quite thick, um, but it, it blends out really nicely. So that is that. So the primer that I'm going to go in with today is by... Um, the Primark primer and um, by their oh no it's not by PS oh it is by PS um it's the prep and perfect hydrating refreshing primer gel this is what it looks like it is so nice it's very hydrating and it's really good for like a hot day because it's like this is that gel sort of consistency it's very refreshing it's very cooling so I'm just gonna pop and it is like, I don't know, it's like very strange sort of, can you see that? Very, very strange sort of jelly and it looks like bitty. I mean, it doesn't feel bitty, but bitty. Yeah, let's move on. Anyway, um, so just rubbing that all in. It is quite... I don't know, it does feel funny on the face, but it's not too bad. I mean, it looks, it looks okay on my face. It hasn't, um, there's no like, I mean, it is tacky, as you can see. It's quite tacky, which is good because my foundation will stick to that. So moving on to foundation. The foundation that I'm going to be using is by Primark's PS Collection. This is my perfect colour matte foundation. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of it. Um, this is in the shade Beige 07. Um, this is really good because it's even though it says that it's medium coverage, it's really not. It's really not. It is full coverage. This is such a good foundation. And it, it smells really nice. It doesn't smell paint like if you know what I mean so that should be enough so I'm just going to do this with a brush so I'm just going to blend that with my brush so as you can see it is full coverage look at that that is full coverage I am going to do my Eyes. You know I don't normally do my eyes, but because we're going quite minimalistic, I do put the foundation on my eyes when I do this sort of look. Just drag that down my neck. It blends in so easy. It's so... It's just... It's very light as well, this foundation. It's not, um, it's not too heavy on the skin or anything. And as you can see, it's just giving me that really nice sort of glow. Um, which is nice because if you you know you wanna you wanna look nice and fresh if it's like a day daily sort of makeup or work or interview you wanna look like glowy you wanna look fresh your skin wants to look you know you wanna look healthy and you wanna you know you wanna make it look like you you know you have got makeup on but you don't have makeup on you know. The hair on my face. 
so that is that all blended out and as you can see it's just such a nice sort of glow it's made myself really healthy i did have like a little spot up here and that has pretty much covered it not gonna lie and as you can see it's got rid of like quite a lot of the redness in my skin it just feels so nice like I said, it's not heavy at all. So again, I'm just gonna go with my beauty blender and just blend over the top of that, just to get any brush marks out or anything like that. Really get under the eyes. This beauty blender is actually from Primark, I think. Their beauty blenders are really good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Their makeup is just really good, to be fair. I'm going to try and do like a Primark haul because I think, you know, just go to Primark, get a lot of makeup, put it on my face, but yeah. Like if any of you do have like a job interview coming up or you're really like, you know, please like comment down below like because I'd love to like, like hear everyone's stories, do you know what I mean? Like if you've had like a bad experience on an interview, like because of like like an outfit, you know, an outfit's gone wrong or your makeup went wrong and you didn't have time to change it so you had to like go to your interview like it. I'd love to hear like people's stories because I think with things like that, like it's just, you're so nervous about your interview and then obviously it, it just goes wrong the whole day. And yeah, I've had so many bad experiences, but you know. So the powder that I'm gonna go in, oh no. Rewind concealer because <laughs> uh, I will, even though we're going minimalistic, I will still conceal just to brighten up that under eye makeup to so look, you know, healthy, fresh, awake. So, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define. This is in the shade C1. So, I'm just gonna, and all I'm gonna do is just pop that underneath my eye. I'm not doing anywhere else. All I'm doing is underneath my eye, because that's the area that I want to do, the area that I want to focus on, it's the area that I want to brighten. I want to get that right up in the inner corners. Because we're not going to be contouring um, with a cream contour, we're just going to go straight in with bronzer. So just by doing this, just brighten up that eye. Just like so, and you just look awake, you know? That's what you want to be looking like, you know. And also, we're, we're focusing on like, if if you do, if it, if it is like work makeup you're looking at, then you know we want to focus on like making sure this work, this makeup lasts, you know, all day, like six to eight hour wear kind of makeup. You know, the average sort of working hours, um, and that's what we want to try and sort of focus. On. So yeah, that's just definitely brightened up that under eye, definitely give us an, a little bit more colour into our skin. So then I'm going to go in with brows. So I'm actually, because I'm not going to go like the heavy sort of block brow that I normally would go because I'm going minimalistic, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Paris Plump and Set Brow Artist. This is in the shade Blonde, which is 101. And this is what it looks like. It's like a little sort of brush. And then it's got like a little bit of like tint on it. And yeah, just by brushing your brows up, it just gives you that sort of natural brow. But you don't have that blocky sort of effect, if you know what I mean? And it gives you that sort of brush hair sort of strokes. And it does have like a little bit of like glue in it, so it does like kind of stick your brows down, which is you know what we're looking for as well. Your brows will then stay in place. So I'm just brushing where like along my brow hairs in the way that my brows hairs grow, and then that just gives it that little bit more of a, more of a hair effect and the brush is like so easy that it just does it all for you you just have to do the brush strokes which is really nice as you can see it's very very like natural sort of brow look to it can you see that 
if the lighting is getting darker, I will try and brighten this up a little bit. Oh, it's better looking. Yeah, that's better. So, as you can see, the brows, they just look just a little bit more natural with a hint of like tint in. So, it's just darkened them up a little bit, but kept quite natural looking. And I will just go just to neaten them up underneath. Just so you do get that sort of like kind of sharp sort of brow effect. We will just go in with my Beauty Bay eye base. And I'll just take that underneath my brow. And that will just brighten up that underneath as well. Just like so. And it's just really like brightened up that sort of eye area. And it also gives you the effect that you've just had your brows, you know, you've just had your brows done. So it just makes them look really neat. I'm then just going to take a tiny little bit of what's left on my brush and just go over my eyelid just to set a sort of base down, just like so. And that will just brighten up them lids as well. The next thing I'm going to be doing is my powder, so fast forward, we're back to the powder. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Powder, and this, this is a satin matte powder foundation with a hydraulic acid and cannabis sativity. Mm -hmm. um, this is in the shade P0.2, so it does come with like a little like thingy but this one's like rubbish so I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna stick with a brush because I don't want to go too thick this is what it looks like as you can it comes with a little mirror as well as you can see I have you already used it it did have like an R for a revolution inside it but yeah I've used it so the R is kind of gone so I'm just gonna set my under eyes I'm not baking um because again we are going like very min minimalistic so I'm just gonna very lightly go in like so, just set them eyes in place and then to set our whole face I'm just going to take that all over my face but I'm literally tapping my brush in, I'm not going, you know, I'm not going heavy or anything like that, we are literally going as minimal as we possibly can. Just pop that around our neck. So now we're looking very matte again. But we still look, you know, we still look healthy. We don't look like we've got a full face of makeup on. Do you know what I mean? We just look very skin-like. It's not too dry or anything like that. So Next thing I'm going to go in with is contour. So I am going to contour with powder, but I'm not going to like cream contour. Just to add a little bit of colour in our face. So this is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Light. Um, this is in the shade Light, but look how dark that is. That's quite dark. So this is again another very pigmented bronzer, so you do need to go very carefully into it. So I'm literally just tapping my brush ever so lightly and then I'm just going to take that down where I would normally put my bronzer just to add a little bit of colour into our skin. And I'm just going ever so lightly just to really kind of give us that little bit more shape back and then a little bit of colour into our cheeks. Like so as you can see it is very pigmented on camera it looks like a lot more pigmented than it is in like person in person it's like very subtle but on camera it's very bright so then I will just pop some on my forehead so I would just bronze like I normally would but I'm not going too heavy with products I'm just going you know very light maybe my um, maybe my light's too bright and that's why it's picking up a lot of colour. Just like 
so let me try turning down the lights see if you oh okay that just makes it even worse okay it's fine but it isn't it really isn't this pigmented that looks so much worse on camera than it actually is like it's very subtle in person but on camera it's just like i've got a massive brown mark on my pen hmm okay I'm not going to do anything to my nose or anything then little hack so rather than going with um eyeshadow what i'm going to use is, is the bronzer and then i'm just going to take a little sort of brush and just very lightly pop that through the crease of my eye just to give us that little bit of subtle colour and shadow and this will also make us look just that little bit more awake and just by putting that in your crease this is all I'm doing I'm just going to put that in my crease I'm not going to put that anywhere else literally just focusing on the crease area just like you, you see it's just giving us that you know sort of quite a nice sort of tint to our eyes a little bit of color in our eyes without going in you know heavy with any eyeshadow if you do have like a brown eyeshadow you can do it with that but i'm just going for something you know quite minimalistic you know not going in with too much products or anything like that i'm just going in with a very small amount of products so if you did want to touch your makeup up or you know you, you've got to do your makeup on the train or you do your makeup when you get to work then you know your makeup bag's not massive and fill like with makeup do you know what I mean so that way you just so that is what it's looking like which is quite nice and then I am just going to go in back in with our powder but I'm going to take a little fluffy brush um, and then just blend out them edges very lightly just so it just looks a lot more natural just like so then the last thing i'm going to go in with is mascara so this is the revolution sky high mascara by maybelline did i just say revolution no rewind this is the maybelline sky high mascara sorry maybelline um so i'm just gonna go yeah we'll just move on um i'm just gonna go in with that you don't want your lashes too thick or heavy because you're going in very very minimalistic but you know there's nothing wrong with wearing mascara to work or an interview or anything like that there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup to work or to an interview i think that if someone has made the effort to their interview like first impressions is everything and if you haven't made a good first impression on if you've not like you know if you've not worn like you're not dressed smartly to your interview you know you haven't brushed your hair or you haven't, you look like you've just rolled out of bed kind of thing. I just think that, you know, first impressions are everything. And even if, like, you've come to work and you just look like you've woken up, like, it takes two minutes to brush your hair and it takes, you know, it doesn't take long. So that is that. I'm just going to go over that a little bit more so that is it so i will just zoom you in closer so this is the finished look for a work makeup everyday sort of look um, as you can see it just looks really really nice quite very subtle 
you don't look too heavy, you don't look cakey, you know, it's just, you look awake, you look healthy, this isn't heavy on the skin, this should last as well through your daily work, you know, you can always add a little bit of setting spray if you really want to, but I think for a very minimalistic sort of everyday look, I think this is really nice. I would definitely, I'd definitely sort of go for this sort of look if I am just, you know, staying at home or I'm only literally popping to the shop or something. I will just keep it as minimal as I can. Don't need to go glamorous to the shop. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below and tell me what you want to see. You know, what is your favourite eye look? Like, what's your favourite colour? What's your go-to colour for makeup? Because... I know, like, I want to try all people's go-tos because mine is brown. I stick with brown all the time. Um, you know, I want to go. I want to go out there. I want to go above. I want to go. I want to do what you guys love. Do you know what I mean? So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you never miss a video again. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.